welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2015 Kia Sorento Platinum. Now in that black it does look absolutely stunning and I'm going to walk you through the full condition and some of the actual features of the vehicle itself. Now starting at the front end you can see the Kia Sorento does have a big bold front end and with nice sharp headlights and that front grille there with the chrome surround and the Kia badging right in the middle. It is a tough looking vehicle and an awesome family car to say the least. The front bar does have a few stone chips which we have gone through the effort of touching up for you uh, but you do also get the front parking sensors there and your headlight washers being the platinum just to keep it nice and clean. Down the bottom here you have also got your cornering lights and your fog lights fitted so um, awesome for every kind of driving condition. Now if we make our way along to the first alloy wheel once again the wheel itself is in great condition these are brand new tires on the front here and uh, the wheel itself does present really well there is uh, not just a little bit of glue from the tire so unmarked wheel there and it is a beautiful looking wheel as well now paint condition along this side does present really well if I am being super picky I can't actually spot anything in this section yet uh, you've got color mask side mirrors with the indicator just built into there and the door handles here do have the keyless entry button on it so pressing that will lock your vehicle fold in your mirrors and when you press it again it will unlock it and fold them back out taking a look on the inside now being the platinum you do get that cream and black leather interior the driver's seat does have some standard wear for its age but nothing really too concerning got the Sorento scuff guards down the bottom as well just on the door to prevent any kind of paint damage getting in and out You've also got the door trims which do present really well for a family vehicle. You tend to see a lot of marks along that door from where people get lazy and kick them open but there is not much damage there at all. Now along this side of the vehicle once again a couple of very slight marks on the... nope those all just came off so uh, not really much that I can see that needs to be pointed out on that paintwork does present really well couple touch-ups but it is a black car so I can be as picky as I want all day that next wheel once again uh, does have a couple of little glue marks but once again the wheel itself is unmarked and that's a brand new tire on the back as well making our way along to the back end of the vehicle now you can see you've got nice bold taillights there with the three uh, LED lights in them so it is a beautiful looking rear end and on the back here you have got rear parking sensors and a reverse camera for when you did want to park there is also a tow bar fitted to that vehicle if you wanted to tow a trailer now opening it up being the platinum you do get an electric tailgate so just press that button once and it will just open itself up on the back here you have got two seats for the third row and they do fold completely flat so it is very very easy to use and just pulling them back up it's just a matter of pulling that strap so Easy to use in the back of this vehicle and the, th the middle row as well, pulling that handle there will give you all that extra space, so very well set up and easy to use. You've got cup holders in the back here as well just for the comfort of the people in the back. Now, to, you have also got a rear air conditioning control there as well for the third row, which is really good to know because you do also get an individual middle row air conditioning control. Now to close it back up, just press the button on the tailgate and it will just close itself as you walk away. Panning around to the passenger side now. A uh, couple little marks that I can already see on this side, um, just in the paintwork there, but as I said, it is a black car, you'd notice a lot of that. Fuel filler cap is on the passenger side and that next wheel, the ones that are often parked next to the curb and cop the most amount of scratches, all I can really see on it is just the glue from the tyres, so that wheel itself is also unmarked brand new tires all around. Now paintwork along this side, a uh, couple of little marks there but nothing really inconsistent with it being a family vehicle. If we keep painting along the vehicle now, it uh, does have a very nice metallic uh, shine to the paintwork as well and that next wheel, the one that is the one that cops all the scratches from parallel parking is also unmarked. Once again just some glue from the tire so four brand new tires and a very well presented Kia Sorento all round. What we're gonna do now guys is pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. It's taking a look under the bonnet now, what we have is a 2.2 litre turbo diesel full cylinder engine. So it is a very well set up vehicle for towing and carrying your family around. It does also have a six speed automatic gearbox. ANCAP safety rating is five stars, which is good to know, especially when you've got your full family in the vehicle. Power output is 147 kilowatts with a torque rating of 441 newton meters. The diesel fuel tank does hold 71 liters and it will give you a combined fuel consumption of about 7.8 liters per 100 
and an average fuel distance depending on your driving style of about 910 kilometers from a full tank. Guys, taking a look inside the Kia Sorento now, on the driver's side door here, you do get, as I said, on the outside, some really nice cream leather, and you've also got a nice wood grain that goes in uh, various parts of the vehicle, just to add a little bit of elegance to the inside. Now, your power windows are all automatic up and down, and above that, you've got the toggle for your power mirrors as well. Above that, you've got an option that says auto, or you can actually fold your mirrors in. Now, if you leave it in auto, just like I demonstrated on the outside, it will fold in when you are not well, when you lock your vehicle. We've also got two seat presets just on the door here which will change your seating and mirror positions if you do have someone else driving your car regularly. On the right hand side here you've got your illumination control for the cluster. You've also got your lane departure warning, your blind spot monitors and your stability control. Down here again you've got a button to let you uh, open up your tailgate. Right hand stalk has your indicators, high beams and your dusk sensing headlights so just leave it in auto and on the left hand side here you have got all your washer and wiper controls the steering wheel is a very nice leather wrap steering wheel with a wood grain trim just up the top you've got cruise control and media con sorry menu controls on the right hand side here and all your media controls on the left now in the center display here I'm just going to put it in reverse quickly and show you the nice reverse camera you get so you can see the rear bar there which means if a tow bar is connected you will be able to see that and both your mirrors also dip just to help you with uh, finding the lines. Now in terms of media, sorry, you do get navigation in this and in terms of media you have got AM and FM radio. You've also got USB input, AUX and Bluetooth connectivity. Down the bottom here dual zone climate control means passenger and driver both get their own temperatures. And below that, a few extra buttons for you. You've got heated and ventilated seats for the front, so good for summer and winter. And you've also got a heated steering wheel option if you did want to keep your hands warm in winter. Engine start stop button is just on the right hand side there. Now, it is a very neatly covered spot just under here, so if you did want to keep anything in there, it will keep it nice and private, but it also keeps that center console looking tidy. You've got two 12 volt sockets, a USB and AUX input, so you can plug your phone in and just leave it covered up in there. You've got two cup holders which do cover up once again nice and neatly. If you did want to just use that as storage you can get rid of the center bit and store whatever you want in there. The shifter you can drive it as a standard auto or bump it to the right into sports shift and switch through your gears manually. You've got your parking sensors, your drive mode to switch between uh, sport, eco or normal and your center diff lock auto hold and an electric park brake just here as well. The center console once again leather wrapped if you have a look on the inside you have got a tray there plus plenty of storage if you wanted to keep anything inside. Rear air conditioning controls are just here and if we pan around the interior quickly you will notice that it is in great condition. A couple of USB ports and a 12 volt socket just down there as well. Uh, now the other thing the Platinum Kia Sorento gets is a massive panoramic sunroof so as you can see Half the roof does actually open up just to air out the car if you want or you can just have it closed uh, to let some light in. Now if we have a look at the passenger window as well, there is actually a sunshade that you can pull up from the side so it is a great way to keep the kids nice and cool in the back, prevent too much sunlight getting in so it is a very very well set up vehicle for the family. What we're going to do now guys is jump outside and wrap up the video. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful Kia Sorento. Now, a couple of things I would highly recommend. One is the glass coat. Being a black vehicle, you're going to want to protect your paintwork from many of Australia's harsh weather climates. Glass coat's going to help you do that and preserve such a beautiful looking vehicle. The other thing I would highly recommend is talk to us about the premium mechanical protection plan. Although this is backed by Kia's seven year unlimited kilometer warranty or whatever is remaining of it, the Platinum, the premium mechanical protection plan will give you an additional cover up to 200,000 kilometers on the clock, five years and up to uh, 10 years of premium roadside assistance nationwide as well. So it is a great way to keep your car protected. Now, if you are using our in-house finance, Julie or Mario, our business managers, will talk to you about your finance options. They're going to walk you through a package that will tailor everything to your needs, fit in all your protective options and Let's face it, you want to be comfortable with your payments as well, so let us help you do that. If you have any questions at all, the number to dial is 9907 My name is Josh, and thank you so much for watching.